So this is a very typical English flintlock blunderbuss. Uh, they, they were made for personal protection in the house or in your workplace. They were very, very common. Um, they survive in quite large numbers. And this one was made by a man called Hall. It was made in the late 18th century. And not always, but typically they have a folding bayonet so that once you'd fired the blunderbuss, you had another method of protecting yourself, which is this. Well, here we have a very extraordinary pair of four-shot flintlock tap-action pistols. They're known as tap-action pistols because they have a tap here on the side of the action. That's so that you can fire two of the top barrels first, then you can adjust the tap so that you fire the two bottom barrels afterwards. They're made by a man called John Richards. They've survived in very nice original condition, and they date from about 1775. Um, these pistols are the sort of ultimate in self-protection. To have a pair of four-barreled pistols um, gave you quite a, um, quite a good deal of firepower in order to protect yourself at that particular time in history. So this is a, a Purdy uh, flintlock sporting gun. It's a single-barreled gun, and it's made by the makers generally considered to be the finest maker in English gun making, James Purdy. And the intriguing thing about this particular flintlock gun is that flintlocks by him are very, this being a flintlock, are very, very rare. And only, this is only the third oldest known. And it was built in um, 1818 or thereabouts. And we expect that this gun will make something in the region of £10,000. So, so this gun is um, sold as an antique, as a curiosity ornament in this country. 